guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, we are gonna dive into some of the new IOD products from the new spring release. Let's go ahead and get started. I picked these up recently on a thrift haul. If you've been following along, I was strategically looking for different items that I could use on the new IOD release. Now, these are old uh, cheese boxes, and it looks like somebody wrote on them, and initially I wanted to do something a little bit more colorful. I thought that there might be bleed through with that black marker, so I decided I was going to paint the entire base a little black dress by DIY and I only used one coat um, the DIY paint is highly pigmented so uh, the coverage is amazing so I did apply one even coat of little black dress to both of the bases of these cheese containers Next, the top, I decided I was going to use Apothecary. I looked at the transfer that I planned on using on this project, and I thought that the color Apothecary would work perfectly with those. I didn't want to do white. I wanted it to blend a bit, but just, um, just be nice and soothing. So after I applied the paint, I did let it dry very thoroughly, then went in with Big Top and applied a nice even coat of Big Top to both the tops. Now, the first one, I got really excited about applying the transfer. I thought the top was dry. It was not on, the, on like one side of it. It was not completely dry. Now, this is the one recommendation that I... I definitely stress to anyone using transfers, once you seal your piece, make sure it is dry because what will happen if your top coat is not dry, it will actually, the transfer will pull the paint off the piece. And that is what started happening when I laid down the first transfer. Um, by the time I got to the second half of it and really started rubbing, that piece was completely dry, but it just causes a lot of havoc um, and takes a lot longer to apply your transfer by doing that. Next, I decided I wanted to add a little bit of like something to the background. I didn't want it to just be flat um, with like the apothecary. So I broke out Kindest Regards and I love this stamp. I think it was one of my best investments. I bought this even before I started selling IOD and I get more use out of this stamp than any of the others. That one and the typesetting. But um, what I also recommend is I now have on my website the IOD stamp envelopes and that is a perfect way to store your stamps. Um, since I've been using them, honestly, I feel so much more organized. But here, what I did is I used the IOD permanent black ink and I just randomly placed uh, this, this uh, kindest regard stamp all over the top. And I did that for each of them, just like I said, random. And some of it was a little bit lighter, some of it was a little bit darker, and I didn't mind that. It didn't have to line up, I just wanted some writing in the background. Now I pulled out the transfer millets pages and you guys I'm obsessed with this one. I love these eggs. I actually love all the pages. Now what you have to keep in mind when I first started using transfers honestly I thought oh my gosh I have to lay it down and use it as is. Uh, but no you can cut and piece it together. You do not have to use it in one sheet. How I wanted to do this is I wanted it all to fit on the cover. So I cut out the eggs around the edges, laid it down, and then I pieced in the rest of the eggs. So once you see the finished product, you guys are gonna love it. Um, now here is where I do seal the entire piece before I lay down the transfer. It is recommended that you do have a sealed piece to applying a transfer 
uh, I do know that there are some uh, stockists that don't um, that do apply transfers before it's sealed. Um, I just prefer to seal my DIY paint prior to applying a transfer. Uh, because a DIY paint can be reactivated, you always want to seal it anyway, so I seal it prior to putting the transfer on. Now here is where I got excited because I thought that piece was dry. The top portion was not completely dry yet, even though to, to the touch it was. Um, just give it a little bit longer before you apply the transfer because like I said earlier, it can pull the paint back. So this process, this one took so much longer than the, the next one because I really had to work on getting those pieces, those transfers to stick because it kept pulling up the paint. So here it is, completely finished, and oh my gosh, you guys, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the apothecary with the eggs over it, and I do like that writing in the background. Now, anytime you apply a transfer, you do want to seal it, so I just applied one even coat of Big Top to the entire piece, and I let that dry, and the, pro the project is finished. So here I am doing the exact same thing with the butterflies and each of the pages in this uh, transfer are so cool and unique. And again, I cut out the edges and I'm going to then place the excess butterflies around the sides of the round container and it looks like it was meant to be. I can't wait to hear what you guys all think of this transfer and what uh, page of the transfer was your favorite. Now, all the products that I am using in today's video, you can find on my website at www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com. When I found those cheese boxes, I also found these cutting boards and I knew that I was going to use them for the new IOD release. They are super cute and I loved all three sizes and I thought they would be perfect uh, displaying like in a vignette in one of my booths. So I grabbed those right away. For this project, I am using the new paint inlay called Melange. From what I've been hearing from a lot of my customers is that they, the paint inlays are a bit scary. They haven't worked with them before and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you how easy it is to use the paint inlays. So for starters, what you want to do is use some type of chalk style clay or clay style based paint and you're gonna wanna put down one coat of paint right away. You'll let that dry very thoroughly and then you're gonna come back and you're going to apply a second coat of paint. When that coat of paint is still wet, you will want to then apply your paint inlay. So here I'm applying the second coat of paint and as I apply the paint inlay, I am 
applying it similar to that of like decoupage paper where I don't just lay the whole piece down. I am going to lay it down on one like in the center and start smoothing each side uh, so that I can alleviate a lot of the wrinkles and try to really embed that paint inlay in your paint. I'm taking my finger, I'm rubbing it very thoroughly to make sure that it really, that whole image is really embedded in the, the wet paint. Plus I take my misting bottle and I mist it and it gets that paint wet on that piece of paper. And again, I just smooth it all out and now I'm letting it dry. Now that it is completely dried, I am going to go back with my misting bottle, wet that entire piece of paper, uh, let that absorb um, into that paper, and then I'm going to start peeling the paper back. And as you can see, the paint inlay is beautifully in the board. The other thing that I also hear a lot from customers is, well, it's one and done, not with a paint inlay. You can use it uh, two to three times. So what I do is I take that little paint inlay there, that piece of paper, I let it dry, and then I save it for another use. After I'm completely done, uh, after the entire project dries, I should say, I do load up my paintbrush with Big Top and I apply Big Top to completely seal it. I have heard that other people have said that the paintbrush makes the paint inlay smear. If you load up your paintbrush and you don't put a lot of pressure on the paint inlay, then it will not smear. I start tackling the next breadboard and this one I decided I wanted to paint Queen Bee from DIY. I loved this color and I am picking out the Sunflower from Melange and I think it will be a perfect addition to this breadboard. Again, I am going to cut out the paint inlay. I'm going to apply a second coat of paint and then I am going to work it the same exact way. The smaller your paper pieces are, the easier it is to prevent wrinkles. So this is a perfect beginner paint inlay because there's a lot of tiny images in here and very easy to work with and you can do so many projects. For this one, I am lining up the very edge with the breadboard, and then I'm just taking my finger, like I said, and I am going to smooth it out. Now, at the very end, when you see this, you are gonna see there was one or two little tiny wrinkles. I really think it just adds to the character of the entire piece, but once I smooth it out, I just missed it. Again, rub it very thoroughly, get it on, let it dry, and then come back and remove it. So I just remiss that tiny piece of paper, and once that paper gets wet again, then you can just start peeling it back. And I love how these all are turning out. And the detail, you guys, it's just amazing. So after it completely dries, then go back with Big Top and seal your paint inlay and the DIY paint. I think this turned out awesome. And I, again, I love the detail of the sunflower. For the last board, we are painting it apothecary. Because I've used apothecary on those cheese uh, crates, I thought this would really tie it all together. So I am applying my first coat, then I'm gonna go back in with that second coat and again, apply that paint inlay in there and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. So here it's completely dry. I'm applying that second coat. And then when I apply the paint inlay, just like I did before, I just start taking my finger, rubbing out any wrinkles and laying it down um, from one side to the other, just so that I can alleviate as many wrinkles as possible. Now that it's completely dry, I just take my misting bottle, mist it really well, and once it gets completely absorbed with the water, peel that backer off, and I love how this one turned out too. 
Now I'm sealing it with Big Top and the all three boards are completely done and it did not take a lot of time. And these are, like I said, this is a great beginner paint inlay uh, for all of you that want to try to dabble with it but are a little afraid. So what did you guys all think? What was your favorite IOD item so far from the new release? I can honestly say one of my favorites, I love them all, but I am pretty obsessed with this transfer. I think there are so many possibilities and oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, the products that the IOD sisters come up with are just outstanding. Well, this is Millet's Pages, and I love how it transformed those two cheese boxes that I had recently thrifted. Um, I will be coming back from vacation, and Monday's video, I don't know yet what you guys are going to get, um, but I am hoping that I am rejuvenated. Uh, after a week of vacay that I will come back and have some great ideas for Monday. You guys have yourself a great weekend and we will see you then. Bye.